Hey brethren, just wanted to give a nice update. Uh, these are the uh, bricks that we started in. I've already started taking this one apart to put inside these containers right here. Okay, um, that way instead of having to wrap it in something uh, that uh, where the little, I guess the little specks, the little filaments here won't come off. Um, the other, um, they, that way that uh, you know they'll be covered in this. Now, not all of them. I'd say 95% of all of them are still like this in the uh, in the plastic bin. But I uh, wanted to go over this for not so much uh, the reason of the bricks, excuse me, but also to show you like what it is that we're doing uh, in regard to uh, hygiene, health and hygiene. Okay. Um, it's actually one of the biggest areas that gets constantly overlooked when setting up a settlement, a village, a commune, or if you're one of those uh, doomsday prepper guys and one of that stuff, okay? And that's your hygiene. Uh, one of the things that we do is we want to try to reduce the amount, and we we deviate to history and uh, and the, even some uh, modern uh, uh, communal uh, um, villages out there that uh, don't seem to have a problem with their trash. That's a big thing. They're healthy, they're wise, and they don't have any problems with uh, um, with trash for some reason. They throw out almost zero plastic because they they reject plastic, which is a huge thumbs up for us because so do we. Um, so this is what we use. We're using uh, this right here. This is a uh, you know just a kiss my face uh, basic soap, and this is a uh, if you look there that's a, that's an eight ounce. Uh, uh, bar of soap, which is a really good size, and uh, we get like a, right now we've got about two to three years supply of them. Now, we're not going to have to do that anymore, because where we're going, there's a, there's a lady that uh, makes uh, organic soap with goat's milk, and we can get that, uh, you know, uh, if we can go ahead and uh, we'll start opening up her market, really uh, stockpiling with her stuff. And uh, that was, so that will reduce even the amount of paper trash that we have, even though paper is burnable and it has multiple uses as opposed to plastic, which is not, and which is just garbage, really. But here's the other thing. Well, if body soap can come in a paper, uh, you know, like a paper wrapping, what are you going to do about shampoo? You have to have shampoo, right? And most of you probably think that shampoo comes in a bottle only. It does not. We actually buy this. We have now, we've been digging into our year supply. We've got about, yeah, four or five months worth left. In fact, this is a new box we just opened up because uh, we, we, the, the bar in the natural course of events ran out. But this is what we buy here. Okay. It's in a nice cardboard uh, container with a little wax paper, which is still burnable, um, as is wax. And uh, here, let me just try to open this up so you can see what we've done here. Okay, see that? We put a bunch from here into there to help it. Uh, that way, uh, both areas will dry. And when the stuff in here and there and that to old toilet roll and uh, this one also dries, it'll dry and compact with this. So you can just grab one of these, throw it in the fire, and it just takes off on you. So we can actually put these in rocket stoves, uh, wood stoves, uh, you name it. And it's all burnable, no pollutant, it's just regular stuff. So we thought we'd go ahead and give you a heads up of what we're doing to help out with the uh, fire bricks, but also what we do for health and hygiene, okay? You still, we're still going to use soap, shampoo, TP, you name it. It's all still going to be there. So we have it right here. Um, go ahead, check this up. There's a there's a, a website that we go to, to to buy these en masse. I'm sure if you checked around the internet, you look for this particular brand, and there's others also. So do your own research, see what you can find. Remember, we're deviating away from plastic. We want to reduce. We want preferably to have zero trash at all. Everything will have its own use. Okay. If you have vegetable peelings, compost. When it comes down to stuff like this fire bricks or molds for fire bricks okay so uh those are just a couple examples um we're still working on the toothpaste thing because we you know we still have to use uh, toothpaste and and all that so we you know <laughs> yes we brush our teeth <laughs> but uh we want to 
give you a heads up of where we're at, okay? So, you guys uh, have a great one, and uh, we will see you next time.